hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel learn this with mahesh so today i would like to show how i patched my google compute engine against this cve 2024 6387 vulnerability so which is basically one of the critical remote code execution vulnerability so identified on 1st of july so let's get started so if you have created any virtual machine so you would have definitely got a notification to your gmail or to your official email id where it indicates something on virtual machine similarly you would have got even if you have a kubernetes cluster so what is this all about it is basically a vulnerability which has been discovered in open ssh so it's basically a remote code execution so the details are mentioned here so i'll put the link in the description if you want you can look into it more so google has provided some of the steps how it can be basically resolved temporarily and kind of a temporary option is what they mention and uh, a possible fix is if you look into the open ssh release notes which was basically updated on 1st of july so they say uh, if you are using the open ssh version which is below 9.8 p1 version you will have this issue so this was basically there was two uh stuffs which was released on this one is a critical one the critical one is this one which we are seeing so where was uh between these two uh, between this version this issue was there so successful exploitation has been demonstrated on 32-bit machine so whichever is like ubuntu red hat kind of a stuff anything like uh glibc systems it is possible alpine it is not possible is what they mentioned so in very simple terms if we can make the open ssh work with this version we are all good so that is what we are going to see it so with that let's go and create a virtual machine so just to show today's date so it is 3rd of july so let's go ahead and create a virtual machine leaving everything default so i'm not going to do any changes to this so that's it uh, so cve i'll use this uh, issue that's it i'll leave everything default so it's going to be a debian operating system so let's create it so once the virtual machine gets created what we are going to do is we will ssh into it so because it is using a default vpc ssh should be possible so once basically we get in we will just run a command called as ssh hyphen capital v so which should show the version so if the version is basically open ssh 9.8 p1 we are good nothing needs to be done but if it is not we have to take action that is as simple as that so let's look into that waiting for us to get into the system authorize waiting for us to get in so let me just increase the font So the date is this, so 3rd of July and the most important command, if we do it, it shows open SSH, SSH uh, 9.2. So which is very clear, this VM is going to be vulnerable. So easy for attacks to happen. The remote execution code is possible. It's It takes a good amount of time to have an attack, but it is potential to be open so they say around 14 million servers are potentially possible to be attacked so this needs to be patched so let's see how it can be patched all right so the magic thing which needs to be done to fix this vulnerability has been done so if we see the time now it is around 5 uh, 42 utc time so if we now do ssh minus v capital v we should be able to see the one which we wanted so as per the documentation if we have this version we should be all good so if you wanted to know the procedure which i used to patch this virtual machine 
you can request for the full access video where the entire details have been mentioned so as usual so this video is going to be charged at 650 indian rupees so the details which is mentioned on the screen you can see it out so if you are interested do do the payment and you should be able to do it so the payment is going to be using a payment gateway called as cash free so very secure you should be able to use it and uh, do let me know your comments and uh, thoughts in the comment section thank you for watching